Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's games announced for the fourth week of May, so let's get started. The Forgotten City is a Roman murder mystery adventure game with a mature narrative presented in an open world underground city from the Roman era. You play as a time traveler who's following the lives of about 20 or so people living under the golden rule. If any of them breaks said rule, everyone dies or is turned into gold. This mechanic sets up the loop where you'll be investigating the ins and outs of the vast city inhabitants and piecing together the clues as to how to break the cycle. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom Princess Edition tells the story of a young ruler dethroned by a treacherous coup, where he must rebuild a new kingdom free of strife while still uniting the whole world of Nino Kuni. As you would expect, several gameplay enhancements will be made to this release, as well as inclusion of both previously available DLC expansions, The Lair of the Lost Lord and The Tale of the Timeless Tone. A physical and digital version will also be made available on September 17th. The high-speed 3D shooter Wing of Darkness allows players to experience accelerating battles in the sky as well as a series of cutscenes depicting the growth of the two main protagonists as their very own tale of heroism and achievement reign true to the players in each one of the accelerating missions that you're sent upon. Embark on your adventure and bring colors back to the world as you complete golfing challenges across multiple destinations with over 100 different holes split across 10 different stunning courses. You'll be able to unlock secrets and discover mysteries along the way. There's no caddy required, just you, the ball, and the soothing sand soundtrack to keep you company when the little golf journey launches this summer. For Close is a cyberpunk action shooter set in the comedic book world. Fight against the dehumanized bureaucracy that took your identity as you unleash the power of your implants and fight for your freedom combining interactivity of game with the visual aesthetic of comic books. Everything is stylish and looks colorful, making sure that just the important things stand out, as you utilize your modern tech arsenal and high-tech maneuverability to dispose of the foreboding enemies. Alongside a multi-platform launch, Super Bomberman R Online is also introducing a new in-game season format for you to master. Each season will last three months and brings with it new items, new cosmetics, new bomber heroes, and much more. The battle pass will be paid for, but the free-to-play option will be available for everyone free of use, as you can test out the 64-player battle royale option that's as hectic as crazy as you would expect. Take to the skies and battle in a unique mid-air vertically oriented fashion as you strategize positioning for your party in a different set of scenarios where victory must come at all costs. Dragon Star Veneer is located in a world where the bones of an ancient beast tower reign over the land, and it's up to a small time set of warriors to figure out how to rescue their loved ones and save the land from the inevitable doom. Green Phoenix is an on rail 3D shooter mixed with a deep narrative experience that focuses on the concept of ego and the meaning of freedom. You are transported to a single player story where society is fully supported by technology and the authoritarian state that takes on the role of the spaceship AI that's hellbent on revenge and nothing more. The original turn based game inspired by Chess, Chess Knight's Shinobi, has you becoming a ninja in feudal Japan to prove your skills in the art of infiltration, sabotage, and even assassination as chess pieces in a classic turn based puzzle experience that's anything but traditional. Fusing action RPG with adventure and traditional farming sim types, Kitari Fables, is set in a cute world where animal neighbors face off the rising tide of darkness and must find a way to save their homeland, offering real-time combat, exploration, and even dungeon seeking, and then as you relax for the rest of the day and you expand on your farm while creating provisions and brand new weapons. In the hilarious 3D platforming adventure game The Addams Family Mansion Mayhem, Play as all of the popular characters in the series in a four-player co-op scenarios to save the mansion from a mysterious visitor who's dead set on taking over. Explore the darkest depths of the crypts and discover the magical mysteries and secrets calling back to the episodes from this popular show. Kadokawa Games announced that Demon Gaze Extra is an enhanced port of the original PlayStation Vita release that launched all the way back on 2013. Boasting new features like upgraded graphics, improved controls, brand new never seen before content in the form of new game plus options and tons of quality of life changes. 
the developers have confirmed that both the physical and even the collector's edition will be made available as well. Experience the thrills of vandalism from the safety of your own home in Sludge Life, a first-person open-world vandalism-centric stroll through a polluted island full of cranky idiots in a rather small, chill, and calming mood. Choose to spend your time either playing in-game video games or go out and take in the sights to see what kind of weirdos you'll encounter when it launches on June 2nd. In order to treat their illness of an unknown origin, you move into someone's house in Sakamoto, Japan. While you try to get accustomed to the new living standards, it becomes rather apparent that the cause of your illness is a great strange creature that's long lived in this area, so you decide to search for the answers to see if you can shake off this rotten curse. Umuranji Generation is a first-person photography game set in a terrible future. Set off on the back of an impending crisis, you're the courier for Tauranga Express. Throughout the game, you will be unlocking a variety of different lenses and different equipment, and find your own style to develop, produce, and even print out your own photos as you present them to the clients, or simply for your very own weird and personal collection. The puzzle game about finding the things that we've lost in ourselves and then the people who help us find them, Love a Puzzle Box, is an experiment in storytelling that combines a rich experience of dioramas with puzzles inspired by point-and-click adventure games, creating windows for empathy and even reflection, and other not often thought feelings with a robust story at heart. Blazing Strike features four button systems with six normal attacks, light, medium, and heavy punches and kicks, as well as three defense move types, blocks, guards, and parries. This fast movement pixel art game is inspired by Capcom and SNK games of yesteryears, while still blazing its very own trail with a unique set of mechanics. At its core, Mighty Goose is a tight side-scrolling run-and-gun shooter that will test your skills, timing, and reflexes. Built upon that solid arcade experience, the game adds a tons of crazy weapons, war machines, upgrades, and secrets. Take down the galaxy monarch's evil forces as you travel distant worlds facing all kinds of dangers on your way and back. In Karma Incarnations 1, the hero's beloved has been adopted by evil spirits and the only way to reunite with them is to reincarnate yourself as a dragon to defeat the evil. But something has clearly gone wrong and his soul is not reborn. Overcome obstacles and numerous challenges in a surreal world to save your beloved. The mutant soap opera where small town gossip starts a rather unnatural chain of events, Mutation, is all about the supernatural and then some. Explore the community as Kai, where you make new friends, plan a musical garden, attend barbecues, and hang out with the locals that will slowly begin to divulge their deepest and darkest secrets as the story only goes places off the rails in the most pleasant of ways. The Tale of Little Eat is comprised of three fantastical bite-sized chapters with strong focus on storytelling. Battle and expose the lies that you cross paths with, appearing as enemy symbols within the game. Upon your victory, Efina will proceed to eat up all the lies in a frantic puzzle RPG format that's been loaded on Steam since the original's PC launch. Hiroki is just an average man until a photography job changes his entire life where not just an idol but also four other girls are now vying for his entire attention in the second episode of Sakura Succubus 2. This episodic visual novel saw the first release on Switch just last month and the sequel is now live on the eShop. Get your PJs on and become the true hero in PJ's Mask of Heroes. Use superhero powers and explore the iconic locations to make full use of your teamwork as a three-man squad figures out how to tackle the very next problem at hand. As the newest character in Peppa Pig's world, customize your very own animal avatar and play along Peppa herself as you visit iconic locations from the TV show and make a ton of new friends. The Falconeer Warrior Edition is coming to Nintendo Switch on August 5th, and that's about all I'll say about this game. I won't even show a trailer since this company is known for copyright strike and claiming basically the use of trailers, so moving right along. The combination of a match 3 puzzler with turn-based combat and creative taming features, Beasties, draws inspirations from many places to try to form a cohesive experience, that's starting a Kickstarter campaign with a Switch goal in mind. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. We got confirmation that the Summer Game Fest will be airing on Thursday right before E3. 
and two weeks ago we got the confirmation from Ray 3 that they're starting on a Saturday. This is probably going to impact my coverage of the new Games Announced videos for the week of June 6th through June 12th, since my videos go up on Sundays, and Sunday will be in the middle of E3, so it makes little sense to cover my reveals as they're literally happening during the event. I'm still mulling over how to tackle this issue and it may turn out that I skip that week entirely altogether, but we still have time, so I'll see if I could come up with something else. But if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up, and as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya!